hi guys it's candy and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a recipe and carly's here is my assistant aka the person who's gonna do everything but you're just gonna say yeah i'm gonna tell her what to do she's gonna do it so we're making strawberry banana cheesecake salad i don't really like the name salad wait I'm does that salad sound sure. good for a name of a dessert no, no. okay Can't so wait. let's just call it in just a bowl call it the, yeah yeah, in the or let's just call it strawberry banana cheesecake. Che well, but it's not really cheesecake. cheesecake. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You'll you've already seen what it looks like in the thumbnail of this uh, video, Can so you're like? good to go. I'm sure it's delicious. It looks delicious. We've never made this before, but we are going to make it together for the first time for you guys. I get this recipe from a website called The Slow Roasted Italian. She just has tons of recipes and I don't even know what else on her website. But I will link it below because that's the right thing to do. I didn't make this recipe up. I've seen it I think on Facebook and I'm like I gotta make that. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna mostly be filming just kind of like what we're doing and sharing with you guys how to make it. It's quick, easy. You can either put it in the fridge and serve it later or mix it up and eat it right away, which is what we're doing, right? Picture? <laughs> All right, so first thing, we're gonna share with you guys what you need. <laughs> so first you're gonna need a mixer. You don't yeah. have to have, you can have a hand mixer. Yeah, you can And then you need you a package of cream cheese. Yeah. A package of cream cheese. A package of cream cheese. You need um, a package of instant cheesecake pudding. You need one and one fourth cup of pure vanilla coffee creamer. And then two pounds of strawberries. We're gonna have to cut those and take the um, yellow part off. Green parts. Do you not know your colors? <laughs> and then you need three medium bananas. That's only two. Three. All right. And then two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. We're not showing now. We're not putting it in. Yes, we are. You won't even taste it. Lemon juice. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is in a medium to tall bowl, using an electric mixer, whip the cream cheese until it becomes very smooth. With the mixer running slowly, add creamer to the cream cheese mix. Add it about a tablespoon at a time and then mix it until it becomes a smooth mixture and all of the creamer has combined into the cream cheese. Continue until all of the creamer has been added to the cream cheese. Whip until smooth. All right, so we were supposed to put the pudding mix in before the creamer. We just realized it, so we're gonna add that in. So you have a big bowl. We didn't have a clear bowl. I got rid of all my clear bowls. So I'm gonna use this red one. And we're gonna slice up all the fruit and put it into the bowl. Just put two teaspoons of some lemon juice. Yeah, this is, add two teaspoons of lemon juice to your fruit and this is so the fruit doesn't turn brown. And we should have done this before Carly started adding the cream cheese mixture, but we like to make things complicated. You don't mix, you just very lift lightly and flip. lift and flip. Fold it to lift coat oh, the fruit. That looks good. So we decided that we're going to add the fruit to these cute little cups and make like little single servings of fruit. So first reaction. <laughs> It basically tastes like that dip you get at the grocery store that you dip your strawberries in. Pretty much tastes like that, right? Uh-huh. Or like when you go to um, parties, like wedding showers, baby showers. Uh -uh. 
that kind of thing and people bring strawberries with fruit dip, this is probably how you make the fruit dip. Wanna bet? But you know what? Compared to the picture on the website, ours is a lot more creamier. I think we needed more fruit. Like, no, I think we needed less. Sure. Oh, when you buy like two pounds of strawberries, but when you're like cutting part of the strawberry, it's no longer two pounds. So I feel like we needed more strawberries because there's a lot more cream here. We could have actually had more fruit. Look at how much is like left in the bowl. So that would be my tip is get more than just one big thing of strawberries. Get extra strawberries, probably do another banana, if not two. I hope you guys are all enjoying watching Carly. Chow hers down in the background. So obviously it's tasty. Um, when you make it like this, you can chill it in the refrigerator immediately, or you can keep it in a bowl like this and chill it in the refrigerator and then eat it in a couple hours. Or if you're making it like ahead of time and you don't want to eat it for like the next day or something like that, Keep your fruit separate from the cream cheese mixture, put it all in the refrigerator, and then like mix it together right before you're gonna eat it. Otherwise, this gets kinda like mushy and kinda soggy per the website. So, all right guys, thanks for watching my video today. Hopefully you guys liked this um, little dessert that would be great for any party this summer. And be sure you thumbs it up, make sure you're subscribed, and let me know if you wanna see more cooking videos, cooking with candy with, with her kids. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next time. Make it a great day. Bye.